In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria read, write, order and compare decimals up to three decimal places. You can locate the questions on the MassMath.com website under level one. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. Here is the first one. Which one of these lists of decimals is in increasing order? Increase in order means that they go up, so from the smallest to the largest. So the decimals we've got are 0 0.401, 0 0.42, 0 0.503, 0 0.59. They all start with 0, which means we've got to focus on the first digit after the decimal point. So we've got 4, 4, 5, 5. The smallest are the ones that have 4s in them rather than 5s as their first digit after the decimal point. So for that reason, we need to look at the second digit now after the decimal point. So we've got 0 and 2. 0 is smaller than 2, so automatically 0 0.401 is the smallest decimal out of them 4. So we're looking for a row where we start with 0 0.401. That is A, and that's the only one that we've got that starts with this number. Looking at the second number, that's the next biggest one, 0 0.42, 0 0.503, so that's a zero there and that's a nine. So this confirms that A is the correct option. The decimals in A are all in order, starting with the smallest. Circle the smallest number. So sometimes they are referred to as decimals, sometimes as numbers, and both of them are fine because decimals are numbers. So we've got 7.094, 7 7.102, So they all begin with 7. So we need to focus on the first digit after the decimal point, because before the decimal point, all of them have 7. So 0, 1, 0, 0. The 1 is the highest of them all, so we've got to cross it out because we're focusing on the smallest number. We're looking for the smallest number. That's why the ones that have zeros, all three of them have zeros. Now we need to look at the second digit after the decimal point. So that's a 9, that's a 3, and that's a 4. 3 is the smallest of them all, so 7.036 is the smallest number out of these four. We're moving now to the calculator questions. Hamid organises a go-karting party for himself and five friends. The cost is £29.95 per person. He uses rounding to estimate the cost for the whole group. How much is the estimated cost? So the cost per person is £29.95, which we're going to round to £30, because it's so close to it. And we've got five friends and Hamid, so that is six of them. So we're going to do 6 times 30. Which is 180 pounds. This table shows the time Samid and two of his friends take to complete their first lap. Because apparently they went go karting. 
So we've got Hamid takes 39.041 seconds, Jane takes 39.3 seconds, Ikra takes 39.12 seconds. Write these times in order of fastest to slowest. So fastest, that would be the smallest number in here. And slowest would be the biggest number. So we've got 39.041, 39.3 and 39.12. All three of them have 39 before the decimal point. So we need to focus on the first digit after the decimal point to decide which one is the shortest. So we've got zero here. 3 and 1. 0 is the smallest, that's why 39.041 is the smallest number. Comparing 39.3 and 39.12, we've got 3 here and we've got 1, so 1 is smaller, that's why 39.12 will come next, and finally 39.3. So these are now in order starting with the smallest. It doesn't matter what digits they have after these because they have a lesser value than the digit that comes right after the decimal point. Which person had the fastest lap? So fastest was this one with 39.041 and that was Hamid. Melting ice can cause sea levels to rise. This table shows the rise in sea levels year by year over 10 years. So we've got the years from 1990 to 1999. And we've got the rise in centimetres for each year. In which year was the rise in sea level the greatest? So we're looking for the greatest decimal. We've got 0 0.92, 0 0.82, 0 0.49, 0 0.911, 0. 56, 0 0.97, 0 0.88, 0 0.9, 0 0.802, 0 0.8. So they all start with 0. So they have 0 before the decimal point. So we're going to focus on what they have after the decimal point. Looking at the first digit after the decimal point, we've got 9 here. 8, 4, 9, 5, 9, 8, 9. 8, 8. So we're going to focus on the 9s because that's the highest. So that's this one here. That's this one. This one. And this one. Now we're going to look at the second digit after the decimal point to decide. So we have a 2, we have a 1, we have a 7, and we have nothing here which means it's 0. So out of 2, 1, 7 and 0, 7 is the highest. That's why this one is the highest of them all. So that is year 1995. And this is the end of the questions.